There are a lot of things to double or even triple check when you're machining, but sometimes your cutting tools will still break. Here's how to keep your tools cutting. Even if you've double checked your offsets and tweaked the cam to where you think it's just right, you might still break your tools. Now, there's only one way to make sure you never break a tool. Don't use it. If you want to actually do something with your tools, there are a few things you can tweak to keep breakage from happening. So what do you do if you break an end mill when you're running your program for the first time? Lower your feed rate. Whether you're cutting steel, aluminum, or plastic, if you move into your material faster than the tool can remove material, it's gonna break. While it isn't always the case, a good rule of thumb is to use slower feed rates for harder materials. This might be exceptionally apparent when changing direction of your cut. For instance, cutting around the corner engages more of the cutter. Many cam programs can't recognize this and slow down the feed rate in these situations. So if breaking tools, you can tweak the feeds right at the controller. Choose a shorter tool. When the tip of the tool is further away from your tool holder, it can cause deflection and eventually breakage. Shorter tools make your cutting more robust and solid, meaning more of your machine's power goes into cutting the stock, not breaking the tool. Using adaptive clearing is also helpful for preventing tool breakage deflection. Adaptive clearing helps to reduce the width of your cut and use more of your flute length, which applies more pressure along the length of the tool rather than at the tip. Coolant is important for more than just cooling. In fact, it can be argued that the more important role of coolant is chip clearing. Chips can actually build up so much that they weld themselves to your end mill. And I think it goes without saying that that's not a good thing. Along those same lines, picking the right tool for the job is essential to preventing breakage. Chip buildup can still be an issue if you're not using the right end mill. For instance, if you're cutting aluminum with a four flute end mill, chips can get caught in the smaller flutes, causing that buildup. So what about when you've been cutting just fine for several parts and your tool suddenly breaks? Use more coolant or make sure your coolant is getting to the right place. Tools getting too hot can cause tool breakage, but more often it's when chips aren't getting cleared properly that tools break. Another possible cause of breaking is tool holding failure. Inspect the collet holding your tools because it doesn't happen often, but collets are a wear component and will eventually fail. Thanks for watching. For all of our latest videos, click here. And for more metalworking tips, tricks, and stories, subscribe to our YouTube channel.